and hello YouTube, GSPM Smart here, and today's video we're teaching you how to deal with pixelated text in Photoshop. What are some things that you can do to make it unpixelated, and how you can potentially even use a whole other program to resolve this issue as well. That's coming up next. What's up guys, GS Me, I'm Smart here, Still with another brand new video for Tutorials with GS. Thanks for stopping by and watching another one of my videos, really appreciate it. If you haven't been new to the channel, new to any of my videos, I encourage you to subscribe to the channel. Plenty of other tutorials on Photoshop, Illustrator, Premiere Pro, video editing, audio editing, all kinds of cool stuff. So if you're interested in Adobe, interested in software, or learning about different things, go ahead and hit that subscribe button as well as that post notification bell so you can stay up to date with all the most recent videos. So here we are in Photoshop. I'm working on a 200 by 200 uh, document here. And one of the problems that a lot of creators get, a lot of designers might get, is pixelation, especially if you're working on a very small document. Anything that's lower than, I would say 400 by 400, anything that's lower than that, you're going to get some pixelation when you're working with text. Now I have my text tool here. I'm just going to go ahead and type uh, something here. We'll write... YouTube is cool. That might be too long. Eh, it might not be too long. We're just going to go ahead and rotate it. And what you'll see is that we actually get a huge amount of pixelation here. Now, there are several things that you can do to fix this and several things you can do to deal with this. For one, if you have the option to do so, always work on a bigger document. We're using this font right here, bold, 50 points. However, if we create a new document, uh, let's see, if we create a new document, we go to File, New. And even if we work on something like 400 by 400, which is double the size only, still a square, however, and we use that same font, and I say YouTube is cool, not only can I now make this text bigger to see maybe 100 pixels, and as you see, we have a lot less pixelation going on compared to this. And that's because we have more pixels in our document here, and we can work with more space. So if you have the chance to work on a larger document, always work on a larger resolution, always work on the document that has more pixels in total. The other thing you can do is if you don't want to go any larger than 400 by 400, you see that there's still some pixelation going on, some jagged edges here. One thing you can do is make sure when you have your text tool and you have this highlighted, you can change the anti-aliasing. And this is at the very top here. Right now I have it set to none, but there are several options here. One of them is called smooth. And what you'll see is this smooths out the edges. If we take a look at none again, you see we have these jagged edges, which makes it look kind of pixelated. However, if we go to smooth now, it actually smooths it out and it looks a lot better. In larger documents, this works really well. In smaller documents, I mean, you can do that. You can change this to smooth and it works a little bit. It helps a tiny amount, but at the end of the day, it's still going to be pixelated. The other thing that's important to keep in mind is that what you're seeing right here is not what everyone else is going to be seeing. If this is your YouTube logo, perhaps, or whatever you're designing this for, you want to make sure you're viewing this at 100% zoom. Right now at the top here, you see we're viewing this at 400%. If you go ahead and hit Control alt 0 or Command option 0 on the Mac, you're going to see how it looks like at 100% zoom. And this is how the image will actually look like if you have it on YouTube. This is the actual size of the image. And you'll see pixelation isn't really a big deal. So sometimes it may just look like a big deal, but in reality it isn't a big deal if you're too zoomed in or too zoomed out. Now there is one other option that you can do, I recommend you to do, especially if you're working with smaller things or if you want to make sure there's no pixelation whatsoever, I highly recommend you to work in Illustrator. Because the difference is that Photoshop works with pixels, but Illustrator works with vectors. Right now here I have a 200 by 200 document, the same size document that this is right here. If we zoom in like that, this is basically how we're zoomed in Illustrator here, a lot of pixelation here. However, if we use that same font, the same size, as you can see, uh, well this isn't the same font, let's go ahead and change that to the same font though, and we're using bold, and we're using uh, size 50, 
if I were to do the exact same thing now, look how clean that is. And that's because on Illustrator, we are working with vectors instead of pixels. So whenever you're working with small, whenever you're working with small resolution, if you're working on design that requires zero pixelation, you don't want to have to worry about that, or you're confined to a small area, you can always create this in Illustrator and you can even export from Illustrator. However, if you want to continue your work in Photoshop and you're not very familiar with Illustrator, but you want to still have this text, let's go ahead and erase this at the end here. Say you still want to get this crisp text here, but you don't want to work in Illustrator because you don't know how to work with Illustrator. Well, that's okay because you can go ahead and go up to file here. Once you have your text, go to save as, and we're just going to go ahead and save it to our uh, desktop here, that's fine. We'll save it as untitled and that's fine. Everything here is fine. And what we can then do is go back over to Photoshop. We can delete that and we can go to our desktop, get that illustrator file and just drag it into Photoshop here. Press okay. And as you can see, it's a lot less pixelation. There's still going to be some pixelation. However, it's a lot less than it would have been if you created your text in here. So that's how you want to deal with pixelation in Photoshop. If you can always work on the highest resolution and the highest size document that you possibly can work on. Otherwise you might want to choose a different font. You might want to make sure that you have smoothing set to on up here because smoothing can really help. And if all else fails, try to work in Illustrator or try to at least get some text in Illustrator and import it into Photoshop if you don't know how to work in Illustrator. Those are, the, uh, those are the best tips that I have to you for resolving pixelation on text. Hopefully this was helpful to you. This is definitely a concept that I really don't understand when I first started design and started creating things in Photoshop or GIMP. So hopefully you found it helpful. If you have any questions or comments, suggestions, feedback, go and leave a comment down below. I'll be down there answering your questions as usual. And if you liked the video, go ahead and leave a like. Also make sure you subscribe to the channel because we have plenty of other tutorials just like this one on the channel. And in case you want to check out my most recent video, click the annotation here. Want to check out a similar video to this one, click the annotation here. Want to subscribe to my other channels or this one, click the annotation here. And if you want to donate a dollar to my Patreon page, you can do so by clicking the annotation here. And that's pretty much it, guys. Thank you for watching, as always. And this is GSM. I'm smart. I'll be back. So when you think, don't go anywhere.